Hi guys, what's up? My name is Jared. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about infrastructure as code and Terraform. We're going to use Terraform to deploy resources to Azure. You don't need any experience whatsoever. We're going to pull everything we need from the Terraform documentation. This is part one of a two part series. So if you've done this, you follow this video right through to the end. Be sure to click to the second video. I'll leave a link in the comments as well. And yeah, let's not delay. Let's just let's get started. So the first thing that you really need to know about Terraform is the documentation on how to get to it. So if you go to terraform.io under registry, you will see um, you can browse the providers, the modules. In today's video, we're going to look at providers. So the providers is basically all of the different platforms that you can use to deploy Terraform code to. For example, you can see all of the major cloud platforms. You can see other items here, such as Salesforce, WebPoint. I know you can use it for Nutanix, for Active Directory. There's loads of things you can use this for. We are gonna focus on Azure today. As you can see the documentation, in order to use this Azure provider, you need to click on Use Provider. So it's telling us that we need to copy this code to our Terraform file and then run the Terraform init command to initialize and to download the resources need for the Terraform provider. So I have opened up Visual Studio Code, I've created a new project, now I'm just going to create two new files. So the first file is going to be called main.tf and the second file is going to be called providers.tf. So let's go back to the Terraform web page and get the code that we need. I'm just going to copy this and go back to the providers I'm gonna paste this. After this section, I'm just gonna add this features command. I'm just gonna save that. The next step was to run the Terraform init command. So this is going to initialize the back end. You can see here it's actually went out and it's going to install the Azure RM. So the Terraform code basically says that we want to use the Azure RM version uh, 366. Perfect, that is done. So you can see here it's been successfully initialized. Let's just open up the main.tf. We're gonna use this page basically to create all our code for all our different resources. We are going to deploy to Azure. Normally when you deploy to Azure, you would create a resource group and then you would create whatever things you wanted to build within Azure. You would put them in that resource group. So the first thing we're going to do is create the resource group. Then we are going to create a virtual network, then a subnet. Um, then after that, what we'll do is we will create a VM. We'll do the network interface. We want a public IP. Um, we also want to secure access to the VM. We're going to have an NSG and we're going to lock that down to my local IP in my house. Okay, so now we have the providers configured. Let's go back to the Terraform documentation and get the, the code we need to create the resource group. So if we just click on documentation. As you can see in the middle here, it gives you some examples at the bottom. Uh, this section here is create a resource group. So let's just take this, let's copy this bit of code here. So this is the first thing we need. So I'm gonna go back to my Terraform code. I'm gonna paste this in at the top. So resource, Azure RM resource group, an example. Example is how we are going to refer to this resource group within our Terraform code. So I'm gonna call that TF RG for resource group. The name, here, this bit refers to what it's actually going to be called when it's deployed in Azure. So I'm going to call that the same thing. TFRG. I'm going to put mine in UK South because that is closest to me. Okay, let's just save that. We'll save that and we will do the initial deployment and then we'll check Azure and just make sure everything is working. So in order to deploy the resources to Azure, there's a few commands you need to do first. One of the first ones that I always do is Terraform validate. So this will actually run through the code that you've created and validate it that it actually works. So as you can see, this configuration is valid. The next thing you would do is a Terraform plan. If I get to Terraform. Terraform plan. 
what that does is that actually reads your code and displays a huge chunk of information on what it's actually gonna do so that's gonna give us a list of the things that it's actually gonna change or modify in this instance it's gonna create a new resource group okay so Terraform plan is finished if I just browse up you can see what's happened so it's outputted this documentation here to say that it is going to create the resource group and the ID which is going to be known after it's actually been deployed it's going to go in the UK South region and the name is going to be the TF-RG and you can see here it actually tells you so the plan is one to add we're not making any changes or destroying anything so in order to deploy all we have to do is type in Terraform apply I'm going to put in the auto approve switch that just makes it easier but I wouldn't recommend doing that in a production environment <laughs> okay so that says it has completed so one added let's check the Azure portal to see okay I'm gonna refresh okay I can confirm this has been created so you can see the Terraform TFRG resource group has been created so now let's go back to the documentation we'll get the rest of the code we need and we'll do another deployment when we've created a more detailed sort of main.tf file on that same page we were before i'm going to copy the next section which is just to create the virtual network so let's copy that and we're going to paste that in here i'm just going to go back to the documentation again and i'm going to get the information i need for a subnet so on the left hand side in the search bar if you type in subnet you will see azure rm subnet and we are going to take this one here so let's just copy this whole thing here copy that i'm just going to paste that in below some of this information we're going to delete so we're going to delete this and we're going to delete this Perfect, so this is all you should have. We need to change some of this, so I'm gonna copy this comment first of all. I like to comment each block. So this is create a subnet within the virtual network above. So what this is saying is we're gonna create a virtual network. We're gonna call this virtual network tf-vnet and I'm gonna call that the same in Azure as well. So that's gonna be tf-vnet. The resource group that we want to create the virtual network within, the one we created called tf-rg. So I'm gonna change this, tf-rg. The location is gonna be UK South. So again, I'm gonna change this, tf-rg. The address space is fine, we can leave it at this 10.0.0/16. So for the subnet, we're gonna call that tf-snet. The name in Azure is gonna be tf-snet as well. The resource group, we wanna create it within the resource group we created above, so that's gonna be tf-rg. Now the virtual network that we want this subnet to be associated with is tf dash vnet tf dash vnet and the address prefixes for this subnet is 10.0.1.0 slash 24 so that falls within this address space anyway so we don't have to do anything thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you've learned something about terraform so far as i said at the start of the video this is the first of a two-part series so be sure to click the link in the description below to get to the second part i highly advise that you go through the whole thing in the next video we will deploy the vm and you'll get to see the deployment of all of those configurations as well if you have any questions then just drop them in the comment box below if you like the video then please consider subscribing and yeah i'll see you in the next one